I was able to make one simple but hugely impacting modification. And I know, I know, the word game changer is kind of hyperbolic and overused, but it really has been a game changer for me. Let me go show you. So I kind of regretted filming this out in the orchard because apparently I have a yodeling rooster and he was very uh, vocal. So stick around for the end to hear my yodeling rooster. Hey guys, Elizabeth, the curly haired country gal here. So back in November, I did a review of our Chickasha 2.0 and we're still loving it, but my biggest con was that my large black Orpington hens didn't seem to be using the nesting boxes at all. I was wondering if they were too large or what was going on, but thanks to the comment section, talking to you, Carter, I was able to make one simple but hugely impacting modification. And I know, I know, the word game changer is kind of hyperbolic and overused, but it really has been a game changer for me. So in the comment section, somebody pointed out that hens prefer to lay in dark places. And so Carter recommended that I put something, some sort of black tarp on the back of my chickshaw. And so it took me a while to get around to it, but I finally did a few weeks ago and it's made a huge difference. I don't know about you, but I was finding eggs inside this little structure where I keep the feeder. I was finding eggs in the dust bath. I was finding eggs in my mini hoop coop. I was randomly finding eggs laying on the grass in the middle of nowhere with no cover or anything. And then I didn't find some eggs for a few days and I was kind of discouraged because we have 11 hens that are laying and our wheelbarrow was propped up just a little bit and I thought no way they could lay under that and I lifted it up and there's seven eggs under it so I was finding eggs there but a few weeks ago I, I got this black tarp that was left on our property when, when we moved in here and I folded it over so it's doubly thick and cut it to about the right length and just used some safety pins to secure it to the back of the chickshaw and it's made a huge difference. All my hens are laying in the nesting boxes now. I'm so excited. So you can imagine how excited I was when I went over to the chick shot the other day and I found 11 eggs in the nesting boxes or right underneath the nesting boxes. Now, my caveat is that I still find some eggs underneath the nesting boxes in the chick shot, which is still fine for me. It's still in the same place. And I still do occasionally find one egg normally Normally if I find an egg that's not in the nesting boxes, it's, it's here in one of the dust baths. But still, that has reduced my amount of needing to roam around the orchard by quite a bit. And it's just one simple thing that you can do on your chickshaw to encourage your hens to lay there. The only concern that I have is that in the summer, if the chickshaw is facing north and the black tarp is facing south, that perhaps it's gonna get too hot and the chickens aren't gonna wanna lay in there. So that's just a bridge that I'll have to cross when I get there. Maybe I'll just always have the chickshaw oriented south with the door facing south. Hey you, yeah you. Thanks so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this or learned something, can you just like it down below? Thanks. And then there's one other small change that I've made that has improved the experience of having a chick shop tremendously for me. I thought that I had to have some sort of bedding in the milk crate to encourage the chickens to lay. I don't even know if Justin Rhodes does that in his, I don't remember, I don't think, but I thought that I had to have something so I put shredded paper in it but it just got matted and gooped and and the whole idea with the milk crates is that it's a self-cleaning system for the most part. So I just nixed that recently and I was a little nervous because I wondered if the, the feel of the milk crate would discourage the chickens from laying, but it has not. So, so at least from my experience now, you don't need to have anything in your nesting boxes to encourage the chickens to lay. And so that has made cleanup a lot easier because I don't even try to close the, the latch to keep the chickens out of the nesting boxes at night. So there is more poop in them, but all you have to do is knock the ba you know, tip the milk crate over and knock it on the ground a few times to get the chunks of poop out and then you're good to go. Some push pins. Here in one of the dust. So thanks so much. So thanks so much for watching. I hope that helps you with your chick shot 2.0 to make it even better and to make sure the chickens are actually laying in it. <laughs> Bye.